Hi guys, I'll be sharing with you how to differentiate 90 degree rotation and 180 rotation. Okay, so in this case, as you can see, I have two different sort of like shapes over here where that they involve rotation. And okay, let's say, look at this ABCD here and look at this another ABCD with prime on top. So I will treat this as the image and the other one as the object. Okay, so let's label them first. Huh? So this is the image and this is the object. And same applies here, this is the image and this is the object. How you differentiate 90 and 180 rotation? Very easy. When you see the word rotation, just keep this in mind. Intersection equals to rotation. Okay, so the first thing I do is I will take my pencil and ruler and I will connect all the relevant points together. Okay, look at this case, Y to Y. And after that, you have X to X. And the other one, you have your Z to Z. And the best thing here is, can you see, it's a very tidy version. And tidy version meaning, they intersect at one particular point, or you can see that. But the other side, okay, look at this purple color version. And when A connect to A, which is relevant, and B connect to B, okay, weird things, can you see that? D connect to D, and then eventually C connect to C. And what you can see here is, yes, there is intersection at A, and at this point over here, it's a weird thing, right? So this messy version, messy version will be the so-called 90 degree. So okay with how to differentiate. But the best, the, the main thing here is, when you come into this case, yes, we know how to determine 90 and 180. But the main point here is, they will ask you, what is the direction? Or maybe what's the uh, rotation point and stuff, right, right? Okay, let me tell you now. The most important thing under rotation is you need three points. Okay, the three main points for rotation will be number one, you have your direction. The second thing, you have your angle, where we already know how to differentiate it. Number three, you need your rotation point. Okay, so the rotation point here is do you notice under this 180 rotation category, you already managed to find your number one direction, which is anything will do, clockwise or anti-clockwise will do. And then number two, you have your angle by drawing them, you already know that this is 180 degree. And number three, do you notice there is only one particular rotation point, and that will be a certain coordinate where you have to fill it up yourself uh, using x, y. Okay, 180 degree is the easiest one. So now, let's come into the hard one, which is 90 degree. Where 90 degree, number one, direction unknown. Number two, angle, yes, we have 90 degree because of the massive version. And number three, okay, we don't have the rotation point. So now we have to find it. And once we find the rotation point, then you will be able to find your direction. Okay, so how I do it is, I have three steps on how to get your rotation point. Okay, first of all, there is two methods. Method number one is, some students, they are able to have like this ability to guess the answer, and, but I won't go for that. Okay, to go safe, I'll go for the textbook way, which is they will use compass and you have to perform two perpendicular on two not parallel lines. Okay, so number one, I have to write the steps to you so easier for you to remember. Okay, so we have step number one. To find your 90 degree rotation point, you need to select two lines. Okay, two lines from all the four lines that you connect. Okay, so two lines which is not parallel. Okay, so which line I will select here? Let's select D, D prime. Okay, then after that, the other one I will select it. Uh, let's go for B and B prime. Lah. Okay, B and B prime. So I'll be taking these two points. Sorry, these two lines. And some of you might say, hey, can I use like other lines? Why not? You can go for that. It's okay. Right? So the second step will be step two. I will be doing two perpendicular. Okay, two perpendicular on the two lines. Okay, so first, I will open up my compass and place it on my first line that I choose, which is D to D. So I open up, and this is my full length drawing. So I will go upwards one time, go downwards. Okay, sorry on the, on how I um, hold my compass. Okay, so once I have like up and down, I turn it around because there is a stand, I'll say, blocking me. So I will cross upwards and downwards again. Can you see I place it on D and D prime where I'm using the same length turn? It's just that I turn it around. Can you see that? Turn it around, turn it around. Okay, so the next thing is I will take ruler, connect the two intersections. So you notice that this is the first perpendicular and that's my intersection on top, intersection below. And once I get that thing, next, my perpendicular, I have to go for the second one which is BB prime. 
where BB prime is here. I will open up my compass, place it here, and open up to B prime. Okay, then I'll perform the second one. Okay, so cross here, the other side, sorry, the other side, cross here, and turn it around, place it on my B prime now. Okay, without closing my length. Okay, so I cross here, here, so I have my intersection now. So I connect them using my ruler, so I will draw them. In the end, once I draw it, do you notice the first perpendicular and the second perpendicular eventually intersect at this point? And what you have to do is, yes, that's your rotation point, and you just have to go, go for your X, go for your Y, and you will be able to find your rotation point. And once you get your rotation point, and do you notice this is your object, and this is your image, and if you go this way, you see, you go this way, that's a clockwise, correct, right? So you go for clockwise. And that's how we get rotation point in 90 degree and 180 rotation.